Alright guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone. I hope you're doing well in this um well in this opportunity. I'm going to do a different video right here. So I'm gonna work in Autodesk Inventor. So it is very similar to SolidWorks and it is worth it is worth to mention that after he, he used to work in SolidWorks but if you know one SAS word to to do design or to make design so it's gonna be easy for you work in different uh, platforms in, this, in that case uh, let's going to to do this uh, basic uh, is, uh, design so the idea is to do that that movement right here as you see that your movement yeah so we have like six pieces this part the table this vase the cylinder these two part and the I don't know how to say this in English this part <laughs> so let's let's do it so first the first thing we are going to do is just click here new part we have as well new assembly new drawing and new presentation so here we can do a movement a study motion so the first thing i recommend to do in every uh, new project you start is click here in save project base one all right first let me see okay let's work here in that plane in the top plane in that case in solid world but it's, it's that plane so first let's change the the measure here in document settings unit millimeters and okay so we are going to work with with anti-click here let's before to before or without clicking let's set the measure all right skype uh, skype and then let's put one constraints here select here shift select here and sketch let's put coincidental constraints all right and then anti click and let's put that dimension that part let's put the 15 all right okay after that we're going to do another measure right here let's see this part then let's put another measure 82.2 double double a all right enter so the last one is gonna be here it's gonna be here 63.2 112 click on enter so now let's set up some dimensions right here that part is an angle 140 all right 140.19 and all right let's put another here that part is 134 okay 134.84 okay look at let's let's work with some constraints right here 
okay this point and this point we fill it chief okay let's skip scrapping or I escape but I don't know that's part so let's do coincidence this part and this part the same way sketch model is true and there's no that part doesn't work so well but yeah basically we here we got it here we have it so let's put here in that set this is symmetric 20 let's see all right okay here we have it right basically that is to do is doing the doing that piece of uh, sketch and also the uh, street part all right so now let's do another part which is that part here we are gonna do the cylinder right here so i'm going to do 3d model let's do one plane all those configuration we can do so but i'm going to select that part which is basically the most that i like we must select uh, one border in the middle point and you can as you can see you can increase a little bit this all right let me see okay anyways it doesn't matter so let's work here new sketch i'm gonna see if i can become bigger that sketch all right quite complicated all right here we're going to do one a uh, center line we, we we chose here and click on anti-click create line so let's put the center line just in the middle of the line all right so let's do the center point circle and before or without clicking let's set the measure right here this first one is 40 and escape general dimension from here and here let's put 70.7 so we have it now let's do another one all right escape in center point that part we are going to i'm going to select all right let me see dimension 30 units 30 centimeters all right we got it now we're going to extrude that part oh but we're going working here quick kind of where we must to select comes construction all right finish and extrude that part just that part let's Strut 18 un un units. All right, we have we had it. Let's put let's take off the visibility. So now we have that part. Chief scroll move in different part. Right, the next part is gonna be in that. Let's work in that plane. All right, but. I'm going to do one plane right here in the middle of that part. Let's go to plane. And after, okay, this is my preferred. So if you have another way to 
to do claims you can do it that okay let's select that part mm, that point and let's all right all right come on okay i don't know why it doesn't work as a like all right i don't know why but okay so now let's work that part click on anti click new sketch now let's work here in that part now we are going to select line from here and let's put 16 enter we have that line choose that again that if you enter here let's put 7.8 all right we get it now that we already have this we're going to do mirror select these two lines and let's go to put that apply and done all right so now we're going to do one circle right here from 10 millimeters in the measure dimension is going to be from 10 units all right okay let's see let's see let's see let's see what is happening now all right all right look at this scene that i really recommend is work right here all right because if you need to do a uh, features uh, mirrors you can work better like this so let's do just for 10 units all right we have this right now let's put invisible that uh, work plane too anti click visible all right we have that two part now front part let's do chief scroll that part e click sketch we're going to put one line right here from okay let's put like construction line 10 centimeters so let's click here in arc right here and right here from 10 units so now let's select line this this led that in right 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 here all right the next things we're gonna do is select create line like line construction escape all right let me see that line online all right so let's do a mirror this this and this our part is gonna be this done all right the next part is select load right here from 10 units okay we as control c list this let that part select load select right here 10 unit click on finish here we got it let's shift scroll move and yeah let's change the position let's do 10 millimeters now the next step is do a one mirror just right here so we need to remember uh, that work plane we did here just in the middle so we need to become visible that and select 3d model let's click here mirror we're going to mirror this regarding to this plane 
click OK. Now select these visible. All right, we have that part. All right, here we have it. Complete the finish. Okay. So now we're going to to see if you if you miss any any measure. So just look at it. All right, and let's see this sketch. This sketch. Just look at the dimension. All right. And just look at this this dimension right here. Let's change that. Yes. All right. Look at the dimension. right so now what I we're going to create another one click here in save and we're going to to do the next part that part right here that part let's do that part my home new project let's delete what is what is it? Okay. Yes. No. Part five. So let's let sketch. Let's work in the display. And okay, the first things we're gonna do is one line, but one construction line. Let's put the dimension right here. Yes. From this part to this part, let's put 25. The next thing, we're going to click here in one circle from 10 unit. The same right here, 10 unit. So now let's do another line. Now we're going to finish let's trick model let's through that part from 20 unit and let's save that part but five not this is the mm, let's put on a name ps2 this is still all right let's first with this the dimension in that case here let's work with 20 degrees So before to do our our through that part here it doesn't gonna work because we can't if we select that edge it show show me that that part it doesn't uh, is not close so what we are gonna do is choose that part. Okay, let me see. Let's finish skid. Enter skid. Alright. 
because of this if you move that you can see if you move this you can see so now let's do some constraints let's let that with that so you see it let's trim this all right and let's do the same right here let's select the part this part and coincidence constrictions mm, this part and this part all right so here is the same you get if i move that part the so let's select these these and coincidence and let's select these and this all right so after that we already have our our sketch all right so let's here so now we can select these and select these and change and the thing is we are going to extrude that part but first let's enter to enter here in the sketch sketch let's do another part right here five so let's do two lines right here just the center of these and another line just for the center of this so let's do that part so let the line this let this this let this so now let's trim this part and look at here we don't have the constraints i mentioned before so we need to select here select here and put it like this so now we we, we have it so let's do another con all right control c let's do click here click here and the same like here click here shift click here okay now we get it all right let's finish let's do our this part also is going to work now let's do it through all all right let me see the part as well okay let's cancel this extrude these these and these all right and let's okay that part all right we, are, we already we get it that part so let's do some fill let's right here right here and right here we click ok so in this i'm going to fill that part but just in one millimeter click ok so now we we have that piece so now let's going to do our next piece so let's click on here and save and now we're going to um let's do another new sketch right so let's work in that plane so let's work sketch let's do a line let's select 20 millimeters 
let's let one center line okay let's change the center line now select line this part from right here so let's do dimension this part a little bit more because it's kind of, it's kind of No, yeah, let me change this. This or this. Let's let that. This or this. Six is okay. So, right now, let's close that part right here just by that measure is all right so let's see how's going on this part this part is okay okay let's extrude but it happened here in in, in autodesk inventor if you don't have this up defined your sketch you're gonna be a uh, struggle with that so let's let's see look at that so that part so we must do some condition some strength constraints all right that part and that part are equals these with this all right let's look at this, this part it's already happened the same all right now let's see that part really happened the same okay we are ready with chief we're going to to fix that all right you already get it so it's so important always to notice about that to be aware about what what we are going to to strange look at that part same here okay control going to select that line in that point all right and same like here we're going to select that point shift that point and all right so now let's going to finish sketch to extrude select here we're going to do it 30 and now let's do a one mirror we are going to mirror these and the plane all right let me see the plane is going to be this all right all right now we get that part is everything is almost finished but now select in the middle of this part let's new sketch so let's do one circle right here let's see the middle of this part 10 millimeters so I'm we're going to dimension here one unity from 10 right the same let's going to do one line center line right here So we're going to mirror that that part from this apply and done. So now let's do a cut 
right here. These and these. Let's click on OK. So already that part is OK. So let's click on here and save. And OK, we already have the majority of these parts. So let's do our table, our base, this part, this base. New. Click on here and put table. Okay, let's see the measure of this table is uh, we're going to work in the same plane basically is my preferred plane so for, but first of all let, let's change the unit in millimeter millimeters so let's click on sketch rectangle and we're going to use dimension here we're going to work in 300 millimeters in that part and in the other side just 106 point 262 all right now let's click on here and click here no, no, escape escape click here and click right here and coincident so the, the idea is always work in the center of the the that part you know that center is so great is so uh, recommended to work like this mirror let's mirror to extrude select that part in 10 millimeters okay so now we have our table let's click on here save now let's do our next part which is this a little uh, silent cylinder so let's click here let's do home let's do our new sketch right here same plane and let's click right here arc Now let's see. Fifteen point five. All right, we now we had it. That line, let's do it like this. Okay, let's look and see. Click here, here. Let's select these lines, chief these other lines, and let's put like this. All right. So now, let's see that part. Let's click on here. Let's put one constraints like this another concern so let me see that is happen the same same here so let's look at it click here click here click here click here we get it now click here click here all right everything is okay now so let's select that 
part these with these and now let's this okay let's do that model should millimeters okay actually we're not going to stir we're going to okay first let me click on here and let me this we get it now okay let's edit this part let's edit this part one fillet right here from one millimeter is okay one millimeter just one millimeter this part and this part okay right let's finish much better so let's save that part and now let's do our next part which is next part is our our screw right let's do our screw let's select here new model we're going to save again let's go to screw so let's click here let's work in this plane click right here let's click like chief right here and yeah okay we get it now same to this all right so this diameter diameter is going to be a uh, 10 millimeters so we need to fix five millimeters so let's do our dimension from two millimeters so our next step is let the whole uh, distance which is one line let's set up and well let's do another line just click on here and let's put some all right so let's fix in that part click here chief click here and let's coincident the same right here because this part is not fix it click here click here the same now we get it but let's change that part right here right let's stood from revolt this is gonna be our our profile and our axis is gonna be this all right let's click ok now let's edit double click double click let's put an a uh, fillet from one millimeter right here mm, one millimeter I think is okay just one millimeter right here 
finished sketch now looks a little bit better so okay let's save this now we are going to open a new where we, we already have our our um, part right here so now let's click here in new assembly and first of all we are, we are going to fix we are going to fix um, place new component document let me see where is where what is servered studies no 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 this is for the type okay I think all those parts so let's select right here and open so first we're going to put right here then okay that is all so first we're going to fix this part so let's uh, fix this part grounded yes grounded so it's grounded oh god so grounded is kind of fix that part that you cannot move it so in order to to do easily that part so let's click here in free rotation let's move right this then right this so now let's click here in we are going to work with constraints and join so here here we need to do some constraints right here what we are going to constrain just this with this just is automatically okay so constraints help help me to move that part if i do if i use these part joints it just is joint just to to fix that part and i couldn't even move that so but this is the actual idea so chief scroll can move over here all right we made a mistake right here we need to open this part and let's see what it happened with this part yeah, let's delete this create line right here let's more or less click here and click here right here all right so now let's normally we click here or right, it's actually it's not it's not that finish sketch but yeah okay so now let's click right here let's going to do a new sketch all right let's click here new sketch okay but we are going to select one origin let's work in the this plane is actually the middle let's new sketch now we need to to do a line right here this line is going to be from dimension 10 millimeters now we're going to select the center point circle right here let's do it from 10 millimeters now we click on to click here construction and now let's see the model extrude 
we're going to extrude we're, we're going to do a cut right here good but we're going to do it in the two parts let's complete that kind of like this all right now we get it so let's save that we can close it All right, let's go to open our assembly now. We had that part, so now let's fix that part. So first of all, we're going to move this a little bit closer. And I didn't click. Okay, let's do it again. Contrains this part. Let's fix with this part. And let's click OK, apply and OK. So our next step is uh, th this part. We're going to select this part. So and click OK. Now we already have this line right here. Let's move on a little bit. But here we have a problem. Okay. This part is kind of longer, so we have to edit that piece. So let's open. Let's click here and edit. sketch let's put like 42 millimeters now let's click finish sketch we're going to save right here and let's open our assembly and now it's fit all right so now we're going to to put our next part let's do here in free rotation no but not in that part not in that part Here we have a kind of problem, just move it, look at it, so let's control C, alright perfect, now we had it, let's do this part, free rotation, let's move right here and let's move right here, let me see, alright. All right now let's click in that part let's do a little zoom first let's click right here in con frames actually yes it's just con frames let's click right here let's click ok now we're going to select con frames again let's click here let's click here and it automatically it's working that place so as you can see we can move without problem because of that i didn't select joints just didn't and i just select constraints so now let's do the same constraints and right here let's select that let's select that and okay we get it now we're going to do the same but just going to uh, new component this is the part this one is the part 3 open select constraints let's select this and this all right we have that part as you can see here and here it's doing the movement but uh, this part over here is not the same uh, it doesn't have this bar border so let's do it in that piece so I, I already have this piece here open so 
we basically have to do one croquis or one sketch here and basically you can see it is this so uh, the measure kind of doesn't matter so the things you need to do is uh, uh, to do one border here from nine degrees so finish sketch so let's go into become visible that sketch and let's go to extrude let's go to select here and the other part all right we have it now the next part we, we're gonna do is do one uh, mirror so let's do here model mirror so let's mirror this part from well, let me see yeah actually we're going to mirror that that is trap instruction the mirror edge is gonna be this plane you already have it all right so let's save and let's open this assembly so now let's uh, work this part like final part all right so now the last part that we are going to do <coughs> is select colors right here let's put that color over there okay yes what could happen let's put color again okay okay let's let's do that color i think is okay so now let's going to put that table right here select the joint all right first let's move this part rotate All right, right here when con constraints this part to this part. All right, so now we can move this actually over here, but this table is doesn't have also the measure that I want. Okay, let's put this part first of all. Let me see. Let me see. This part. Let's select this. With this. Okay, get it. Let's select. Contrain. this with this 
all right now let's look at okay let's click ok now let's reduce that piece in 12 millimeters let's open let's click here <coughs> so now let's going to reduce that part um, okay not at all problem let's save now let's open the final part so let's see what is happening so 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 short I guess okay let's add that relation Contrain. Okay, that was perfect. So now let's add the same here. Little problem that this measure is a little bit smooth. smooth. So basically what we're gonna do is just delete that. Delete that. So now we're going to open this part now. This screw. So let's click here in the sketch. Let's double click to edit it. Now we are going to copy. We're going to do this. Now let's going to do Ctrl C. Copy to clipboard. Done. Now let's go to home. New part. Let's select the this plane, the unit, two millimeters. Click Control V and V. All right. So now we're going to edit that part in twenty-five. Let's going to model extrude so that part and actually it's under is our revolute from this axis all right so let's save this part like screw small screw So now let's open this part. So, but I think this is 20. So let's edit that part. Okay, let's going to see that part that uh, we don't have any constraints here. We get we don't have any constraints. So the way to fix that is adding one constraint. So how did I did to fix this problem? That was here when uh, it has a. Uh, a, a, a diameter more uh, a diameter bigger bigger so just what it did was reduce reduce the the size of this piece look at this piece just reduce the side to 10 
in here the other part was just the very the blue part let's open this part just what it did was edit that to reducing all those measures look at this part 12.228 and 30 and 20 just like this so now we had here the, the final part so now let's see let's see to add the constraints to movement because we actually will have the any constraints to a um, amount of movement so now let's do it so right lo look at here let's let's do constraints let's se select this angle part so now we need like 9 uh, 19 uh, angle or degrees so let's look at this part so if you actually the normal try it appears, appears like this but you can click on here and appear those parts so let's rename amount of motion so let's do let's select the part who we are going to we are going to do the movement but basically it's that part so now let's select one plane let's select the plane these planes look at at the same time they do one sound which is this so now let's the maximum the maximum degree is going to be mm, this is okay and the less in the in the minimum is going to be this so let's go to apply so now let's look at look at look at now everything is okay look at e, okay so okay that is all guys thank you so much for watching the video and basically here uh, we can uh, just take advantage learning a few things about design uh, pieces and yeah I, I know that this is very basic and I, I did a lot of mistake here doing these things you know but yeah so you get the idea and what I, what I think about SolidWorks in this uh, Autodesk that SolidWorks um, actually have kind of easy things to to do con constraints but I think it's because I have not used it uh, so much that program so but yeah so you can found many apply many uh, designs done in 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 inventor and also in solid world so if you have an idea about uh, which software are uh, can do different things uh, in a better way so you can comment down below but basically the most you know the most you can apply different uh, projects to do all right so thank you so much bye bye